Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Yesterday was the deadline for political parties forming a coalition political party to deposit their coalition agreements with the registrar of political parties. But according to the registrar, only Azimio did deposit their coalition agreement. And when Sunday Nation contacted some leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, they gave very interesting remarks. Remarks I want us to have a look here, after which we are also going to look, have a look at some details of Kenya Kwanzaa coalition agreements. Yes. So in case you've bumped here for the very first time, subscribe so that anytime we upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you yes when sunday nation contacted didmas baraza about what is actually happening in kenya kwanza alliance this is what didmas baraza had to say kenya kwanza is only a coalition agreement which which the political parties append signatures ruto will contest the presidency on a order ticket, Mr. Baraza said. That's what Didmas Baraza said yesterday about Kenya Kwanza Alliance. So according to Baraza's interpretation, Kenya Kwanza is not actually even a coalition, but just a coalition agreement. Yes, that's very interesting. I know maybe some leaders in Kenya Kwanza might have a contrary interpretation to what Didmas Baraza is actually saying. But according to Baraza, Kenya Kwanzaa is not even a coalition, but just a coalition agreement. Yes. And then also if you go through that Sunday Nation, it's just confirming that William Ruto will contest for the presidency on an order ticket and not Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance ticket. And that's also very interesting and exposes some very interesting facts that we are going to analyze in the course of this video. And then secondly, another information coming out, or rather some leaked information, is that Kenya Kwanzaa, or rather that combination, that group, they will share government positions based on how a political party eh, will perform in the election the more members or the more elected leaders you have you will get majority seats in government assuming they form the next government and that's also very interesting because just some few days ago Cleophas Malala leaked to the whole nation that already they had agreed on some numbers of maybe positions they were to be given in William Ruto's government. But from the new details emerging, that has not yet been reached. Rather, there is no consensus on that. What is there is that positions assuming William Ruto wins will be shared according to the number of elected leaders a political party eh, will get. So Cleophas Malala maybe was just trying to lie or to play with the psychology of Kenyans. So from all these ladies and gentlemen, I'm just seeing some kind of uh, confusion in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. But I really don't want to brand it a confusion because I know eh, leaders of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, in this case William Ruto, William Ruto might be doing exactly what he knows and what he knows the consequences. And I'm saying that because the mere fact that William Ruto is opting to contest through other party, and actually yesterday, they never deposited that coalition agreements, is an indication that William Ruto and his team are going, if at all they will have some coalition, then they'll have a coalition based on all laws, mm. not this coalition political party. And if you look at the reason why the likes of Raila Odinga and that team 
actually amended Poli Political Parties Act to introduce a political coalition party, it was because of what they saw or witnessed in the last election, where Raila Odinga and some of his NASA principles actually kept arguing about political parties funding. Kanozo Budawadi and Wechangula were of a strong opinion that the political parties funding that NASA got as a result of the presidential votes, such funds were to be shared among NASA affiliate parties. That was the bone of contention in NASA. And that's why actually that political parties amendment bill 2021 was actually brought rather passed so that it could, could cure that. So that any vote that a presidential candidate gets eh, through political through coalition political party, then such funds can just be shared among all the constituents parties of that coalition political party. But we are now seeing Musele Mudavadi, who was actually complaining about that, now accepting to go with the old law and is allowing allowing William Ruto actually to contest for the presidency through order. And if that is the case, then I'm seeing upon Ruto contesting for the presidency, most likely we are going to see some <coughs> tussle or some haggling or some fighting for, for po political parties funding as far as the presidential votes are concerned. Because as it is today, parties are being given funds based on the number of seats they have, and then also based on the number of votes a presidential candidate gets. So if Ruto contests for presidency through ODA, there will be political parties funds that will go to ODA directly as a result of the vote William Ruto will garner for presidency. And I don't think William Ruto will be willing and ready to share such kinds of funds with the likes of Musale Mudavadi and Moses Masika Wetangula. So from where I see it, that can be a very clever strategy by William Ruto to arm twist. Mudavadi and Wetangula in terms of presidential vote fund so that he'll just get that vote, those funds as order. And he won't be compelled to share such kind of funds with Mudavadi or Wetangula. It's very interesting that Mudavadi and Wetangula are actually accepting that, something they were complaining when they were in, complaining about when they were in NASA. That is one thing I'm saying here. And then secondly, details are also emerging that government positions assuming Ruto wins the presidency in Kenya Kwanzaa, that team, I don't know whether it's a coalition or not, I don't just understand it now, is assume, is details are emerging that government positions will be shared hmm, based on the number of elected seats each political party will get. And from the look of things or the reality as it is, in this year's August election, if at all that group in calling itself Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance will have elected leaders, then I'm seeing a situation where order, just as a single party, out of the seats that group will win, or rather will get. I'm seeing ODA getting about 90% of the seats in that group. Yes. So you can see that now William Ruto will leave the, maybe the likes of Mudawadi Wetangula, Justin Muturi, and this, the likes of Moses Korea, to maybe share about 10 or even less than 10%. <laughs> yes, of the funding, political parties funding. So I'm also seeing a clever William Ruto who is clearly outsmarting his, uh, his alliance partners, the likes of Mudabadi Wetangula and Moses Kure Justin Muturi. These are just leaders who are just angling around William Ruto, but they're not actually looking at the bigger picture. That is something coming out clearly. So already there are two critical issues here. William Ruto on the on the political parties funding as a result of presidential votes, that will go straight away to Uda. William Ruto will not be compelled under any law to share th that kind of funding 
ni the mudawa di wetangu la or any other person that's very clear because if maybe William Ruto wanted to share such kind of funds they have, they could have opted to go for a coalition political party where William Ruto was to contest through Kenya Kwanza Alliance ticket so that any votes or other funds he will be getting as a presidential candidate that could be shared among these various political parties forming that coalition but now that he's going for Uda already has looked at the bigger picture he does not want to share such kind of funds with the likes of Musale Mudabadi so as I conclude I'm seeing a smart William Ruto a clever William Ruto who is actually outsmarting his coalition partners in broad daylight that's exactly what I'm seeing here ladies and gentlemen and then the mere fact that positions are going to be shared based on how a party performs also just shows that Malala was actually lying to Kenyans and Malala is also coming out as another propagandist maybe made those remarks to hoodwink all chief residents of western into thinking that when William Ruto wins the presidency then they'll get some positions there is nothing here, ladies and gentlemen. Positions will be based on the number of seats a political party wins or gets. And from the look of things, Mudavadi might actually come out empty-handed. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Yes. <laughs>